welcome to another little home improvements vlog. My fringe is already getting on my nerves today. We're getting there. We're getting there. But it's still testing me. <laughs> ah, and my battery is dying right now. Of course it is. Let me go replace this battery real quick. There we go, you're back. This video might mostly be me showing you new stuff that I got, to be honest. Normally, like, just a couple of times a year, me and my parents go on a little trip together to Dunhill Mill and the range and just buy some little homey bits. And this time I had some money left over from a sponsorship. So I gave myself a budget of, like, £100, which is the most I've ever spent on one of these trips. I normally end up buying... <laughs> barely anything. One time I bought a fork and that was it. I also upgraded my kettle and toaster. <laughs> Sell it to me. <laughs> Comes with its own lead. Wow. You get a free plug? You get a free plug with it, yeah. Taking my kettle for a walk. It doesn't want to walk. <laughs> I can't carry it. We are actually on our way to the recycling centre to say goodbye to these. You've served us well. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Do you want to see my toaster and my kettle? Ah, isn't it shiny? Mm. It was so shiny and beautiful when I brought it home and got it out the box that I made a vow to keep it that way. So I've been like trying to clean it regularly. Mama's gonna keep you shiny, don't worry. Then my toaster is matching. I thought I might as well get the matching one. Mm. It's so shiny. I've got some extra buttons and these glow blue. Ooh. The next new thing that I want to show you is one of my favourite new things. It's a lampshade. Don't get too excited. <laughs> I knew I wanted a new lampshade because the old one, as beautiful as it was, it had like ferns around the edge. It was lovely. Um, when we sat on the sofa, it just blinded us. There was like nothing on the bottom to shade the bulb at all or diffuse the light. It was just so harsh. This one was one of the only ones I could find that had any kind of diffusion or like shade around the bottom of the bulb. They had this one in grey and in mustard and I bought it in mustard but I still wasn't entirely sold on it to be honest but I thought well I can always take it back if I change my mind but as soon as I got home and put it up I fell in love with it. And here it is my lovely mustard UFO. I love it. It's so funky. Ooh. It diffuses the light so beautifully in the room, it's not as harsh anymore. With filming as well, when I'm vlogging in here, it would annoy me sometimes the harshness of the light, whereas I think it looks much, much better now. Lighting's just important to me in general, like, it annoys Alex a bit sometimes because I'm really particular and really fussy when it comes to the lighting. Speaking of lighting as well, these aren't new, I got them as a Christmas or birthday present years and years ago now from my granddad, I think. Um, but I never really knew what to do with them or where to hang them. These little lantern lights and I just randomly one day sort of stumbled across them again and thought these are too pretty to keep in a box but I don't know where to put them so I just sort of experimented hanging them around a few different places and I really liked the way they looked um, over this picture which is just sort of next to the spare sofa. The wire down here is sort of a bit annoying but whatever you can barely see it just don't look at it. But in the evening it is so, so beautiful and lovely and relaxing having these on. I filmed like some little shots of the mood lighting <laughs> in the evening last night. So I'll show you what that looks like. We'll have a little, a little relaxing moment. <laughs> I love it so much. It feels like a little sort of carnival, like, 
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's nice. I like it. I really look forward to the time in the evening when I am ready for this mood lighting. <laughs> it's normally around like seven or eight o'clock we progress to that lighting. <laughs> Is that really sad <laughs> that I'm so specific about it and I really look forward to it? Well, lighting makes me happy, all right? You do you. <laughs> I have another couple of things to show you and the next two are also kind of mustard. I didn't do it intentionally, but actually there's another mustard thing there. Jesus, it's just getting very mustard in here. <laughs> I think maybe it's autumn. Uh, that's the, the autumnal colour I'm like mostly drawn to, like a burnt yellow mustardy kind of colour. I don't know. Everything's going mustard basically, but I'm okay with it. I got me a new plant baby from Sainsbury's. I love the Sainsbury's plants and their big lovely pots. I've only got two but I love it and there was a couple of different options for the plant. I went for like a big leafy bit of foliage. I really really love how in the evening when the mood lighting is on the light makes a shadow um, up onto the ceiling of the leaves and I don't know it's just nice. I feel like I'm in a tropical paradise. I'm trying to pretend my mantelpiece is tidy but really I've just pushed it all up one end. The next bit of mustard I have for you are these pillows. Oh my god, my clothes as well. Next stop I think is to dye my hair mustard. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like a pair of eyes among a mustard house eventually. You won't be able to see me. I always look like I'm threatening my pillows <laughs> when I try and fluff them up. Be fluffy. I got two big chunky soft pillows. These are kind of a lighter yellow colour and then I got I think four of these smaller, more golden ones. I think two of them I got in Dunhill Mill and two of them I got in the range. Uh, the other ones I got in the range, but I don't know which ones are which. I'll link all the stuff down below if I can find it. These are the first cushions I've bought that are actually like really comfortable. The other ones I used to have on this sofa, they looked beautiful, but they weren't like comfort pillows. They were definitely just to look at. They looked pretty, they had nice patterns on them. Um, but they weren't really comfy and this sofa is not that comfortable to be honest and I sit here all the time when I'm working so I thought I'd treat myself to some nice cushy squishy soft fluffy pillows mm. now I remember why I didn't have comfortable pillows I never get anything done They're too comfy get away from me <laughs> the other mustard thing I've already had for a while this lamp over here. The other lamp that was there keeps on blowing up all the light bulbs that I give it. I don't know why. So I'm not giving it any more light bulbs. <laughs> um, so I replaced it with this one, which I bought to have either side of the bed upstairs. So now I've only got one, but whatever. Right, the next thing I want to show you is, I think my favorite thing. Also the most crazy thing I bought. <laughs> Um, Alex was very shocked when I came in the door with him. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Behold! Oh, it's so nice. I love the sort of pale blue background and the little speckled dots. Odd eyelashes and a little fluffy and his shiny nose and I was, oh. I saw it, you know, and, you know, the vegan in me just went, ah. Oh. I need it. Oh. I was actually looking for some artwork to hang in the bedroom because our bedroom is kind of the most boring room in the house. There's really not a lot of anything in there. I just use it for filming and when I'm filming I make the background look nice but other than that it's really quite plain and we have a massive wall in there that looks like a perfect sort of feature wall to have something really big and beautiful on. So I did go out looking for something for that wall but I haven't hung it up yet as you can see because it's really big and I'm scared so <laughs> I'm waiting till my mum comes around so she can help me. I got another picture which I'm taking you upstairs to see because I have hung this one up because it wasn't quite as big. This one was on sale for like £10 I think. Open the window. <laughs> Ta-da! It's a cactus print and the cool thing about this one is it's uh, 3D in places. It's got like some little shiny knobbly bits on. Can you see? This area here and this little table is where the rat cage used to be. I'm going to be donating it and everything else I had to Woodgreen which is an animal 
shelter and charity not too far from me. I planned to take it there the other day. My parents were going to give me a lift, but then we couldn't in the end. But because I'd already got everything ready and I just, I, I as bad as this sounds, I just, I did want to get rid of it. I feel so bad saying that, but I, I literally had to put a blanket over it because it was so hard, like walking past it every day and looking at it and it being there and being empty. So my parents just took it and they're storing it for me until we take it to Wood Green. I did keep one thing. Um, I mentioned that I was going to keep this purple hammock. This is the one that I have just like the fondest memories of. It was like the perfect size for all of them to cuddle up in. And I just remember so many like mornings when I would come down and see them all, all curled up in there together. So I kept that. I've let everything else go. When we took the cage out, I gave like the table a clean and I started putting my printer on there, but it just like, it felt a bit odd. What I decided to do instead was I bought a lovely bunch of flowers from Tesco, lovely autumnal sort of colors and they smell really beautiful. Um, and I put them in a little vase on the table next to one of my favorite pictures of Louis in a frame. It's Louis on Alex's shoulder while he's playing a video game. I really like how it looks. It feels like right. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like I replaced him. It feels like it's remembering him. I will probably end up using this table for other things as well at some point, but for now it just feels nice doing that. I had sort of a rearrange of this whole area as well a little bit. I finally used the frame that I got in a charity shop secondhand with the roses around the edge that's sitting next to Jeffrey. And I have a little picture of Xena up here framed. Up here I have a picture of Einstein and Darwin when they were kittens. Yeah, I think it looks quite cute. I just remembered I also got a new funky shower curtain. It's yellow, all right, it's not mustard. <laughs> I got this one in Argos, it was pretty cheap. It was maybe 11, 12 pounds, something like that. Before that, I was buying the ones from Tesco but they kept going moldy so quickly. I'm taking extra, extra good care of this one. I have a special towel and I'm like properly drying it all off every time after I've had a shower and opening the windows and everything. I'm determined not to have another moldy shower curtain. I'm taking my lipstick off already. I've already got sick of it. <laughs> I just can't stand it for very long, even if it looks nice. It just gets on my nerves eventually. Like now when I want to eat a panini. <laughs> The washing machine makes me so nervous. <laughs> it's just like, ah, in the other room, freaking out. What is this in my letterbox? Fried chicken takeaway. I guess I'm gonna end this video here. I probably won't be buying any more stuff for the house anytime soon. I just wanna focus now on the stuff I already have. I just need to do a lot of sorting out now, basically organizing things into like charity shop pile, eBay pile, giving to my mum pile, <laughs> recycling pile. I feel like there's so many things in my head right now that sometimes I'm like a bit tired and unable to properly really get one thing done but I'll get there slowly but surely. Thank you for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it maybe. Oh my god I'm so tired. I just realized how slowly and heavily I'm blinking. That's how I gain the trust of animals sometimes. Just sort of slowly gently blinking at them especially cats <laughs> i'm telling you it works <laughs> try it go up to an animal and, bl and blink at them slowly you'll be best friends in no time i'm gonna go and make a panini and then probably drift off into a panini dream Ugh. thank you for watching this video and i'll speak to you again soon bye bye mm -hmm.